of a central dogma of biology. That was a... Uh, What's that? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Can we go more in depth than that? <laughs> yeah, so um, DNA represents the big cookbook. The RNA are the recipes in the cookbook that uh, yeah, specific to yeah, specific to itself, I guess. And then protein was the actual dish itself. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what I want you guys to remember. So we have, you know, again, we have this we have this giant genome that's made of DNA, which is a double-stranded molecule that you can see right here, which is then what's called transcribed into RNA, which is a single-stranded molecule, which is then translated into protein. And like I told you guys before, we think of the kind of skeleton of our bodies as like the, the actual like foundation of what we are, but in fact, there's all this, there's this protein web that makes up every single thing that we are, and just kind of an interesting bit about that is, you know, people who are have like chronic diseases who need some sort of organ transplant. Um, normally, what happens is, is they get an organ transplant from a healthy donor, but our immune system rejects that organ because it's from someone else. The future is through using stem cells. Now, the way this works is that we can get something like, say, say we needed a lung transplant or something like that. Well, we can actually take the protein scaffolding from like a pig lung or a sheep lung and then grow our own cells around that protein scaffolding. So it's pretty cool how like, you know, modern medicine and science is doing this stuff.